How's everyone? So I have, I'm going to do another butterfly garden reading. Read. Right, because they're so simple, you know. <laughs> right, but anyways, read. I'm going to do a butterfly garden read. Well, let's see. And right now. The children of Israel, God's babies, the new converts, you guys are being told to keep the faith. Stay connected to God. Stay connected to Him. Because, and He says, welcome. Right. First of all, He says, welcome. He loves you and thanks for coming. Right. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> God is hilarious. Right. He gets on my nerves. I tell you, you do. And He said, thank you for coming. He appreciates the fact that you decided to convert to Christianity for those who are new. Um... There will be jobs handed out. There will definitely be jobs handed out to you new converts. Yes. Not the kind like this, but you will be handed out jobs. Right. Self-improvement. Right. Your job as a new Christian is to improve yourself. Right. That's the only job you have as a new convert. Self-improvement. And it will take you a few years to do so. Right. This is not a Shazam. I don't care. I do not care. I do not care. That is not how God works. Right. So, what you have to do is... Right. I just told you. Right. That's your job. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. But you have a great support system. You definitely have a great support system. Stay connected to God. Your body's going to go through some changes. Your mind is going to go through some changes. Your heart's going to go through some changes. Your soul is going to go through some changes. And it's not going to be a beautiful change. Right. It's not going to be beautiful. It's not going to be easy. Because you have to clear yourself out. Right. You have to clear yourself out. God doesn't do that. Right. You chose to be a Christian. Now you have to choose to remain one. Right. You have to choose to learn how to be a Christian first. So. You have to choose to be one. You have to learn how to be one. And then you have to choose to remain one. After learning what it takes to be a Christian. Right. And God teaches you what it takes to be a Christian. And he sends you people to help you learn how to be a Christian. God sends you the motivation that you need. Um, it's all about self-care as well. Self-improvement is your assignment and self-care. Through this entire process, meaning first of all, you have to uh, separate yourself from everybody and keep yourself protected. People you want to get away from, don't even answer the phone, text messages, they'll get the hint. Or you just say, I'm working on myself. I'll get back to you. Right? And if they keep bothering you, then you know this person don't respect your change. And they're part of the reason why you stay sick, irritated, broke, busted, and disgusted. Whatever your issue may be. If a person cannot stay away from you, and once you say, you know, I'm, I'm doing self-improvement right now. And mm, I'm just going to get back to you. Because that's what I did. Right? I told people, look, I'm going through some things, some changes right now. I will get back to you when I'm done going through what I'm going through. So that's what you have to tell people. You have to be stern about it. Right, because these types of people will play games with you, right? They won't take you seriously. And that's the type of person you definitely need to get away from. Because they have no respect for your changes. They have no respect for what it is that you are trying to do. And then, like, they don't respect your I'm all about me movement. You have to have an all about me movement where you sitting down away from everybody and making changes. And this is for new converts to Christianity, right? This is for new converts to Christianity. Um... You are his butterflies, right? He is happy to see you. He's happy that you're here. God is so elated. He loves when he gets new babies, but as with every father, he don't get hung up on you. Because, right, but this is not the time to run back into the world. You don't get a second chance this time. So if you're a new convert, please understand. A new convert to Christianity, you don't get a second chance. You don't. He wants his child, Jesus, to stop being stubborn and come back. Bible lines. And Jesus is acting like, mm -mm. So... You only get one chance, new converts, to be a Christian. Otherwise, if you fall, you remain out there. Right. right. You have a strong, strict assignment. <laughs> right. Self-improvement and self-care. That's why he said the first thing you need to do is protect yourself from everything you're trying to get away from. Shut them all down. Tell them, I'm going through it. I'm doing my changes, and I will get back to you. And if they text you, I will get back to you. Now, after that, if they text you some more, then, you know, mm -mm, they playing with you. Just block them, right? Just block them till you, you know, block them. Because they going away. Unless they decide, you know what, well, let me go through some changes myself. Right. So, 
With that being said, that's your butterfly garden read. And you guys have an awesome day. Bye.